Welcome to Job Skills Share. Today I am making iTalk video, and you'll think, what is iTalk? Basically, this is a software. Um, let me go back to Google here. So when you type I T A L C, it's basically a software that is, uh, you know, if you're a IT uh, for a school or you're a teacher, uh, this software is for like classroom management. So what happens is you have a one master computer here um, uh, at, at teacher the teacher computer and you can control all of the computers or you might have one computer in all over the school and that's controlling a lot of labs. Uh, you can use it for very, very different different purposes depending on you. You want to do a remote control, you want to control all the computers at your work, you can do that. Uh, you can you can run a command on all the computers from one computer, uh, and I do have a lot of videos related to it. You guys can see that, and I explain it in details too. But if you type I T A L C right on the bottom, you'll see that Jobs Club Share also have uh, another videos related to it. Uh, today, I'm going to be making a video actually from the phone because some of the learners uh, really asked me to make it, um, don't make it on virtual machine, show us the real machines and how it works because some people didn't get it. So today I'm, I'm doing that. So you might see a little bit shaking and uh, a little bit that stuff. So please bear that with me. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We have Windows 8 machine right here. This is going to be our master computer. This is 32-bit system. And we have a student computer right here. Uh, this is also a uh, Windows 8 and 32-bit system. So the first thing you need to do, um, um, and just to give you a scenario, for example, you're a teacher, you're an IT guy, or you want to manage 20 computers from here. So let's say, for example, this is your teacher computer, and these are all 20 computers out there. So the steps that you're going to be doing it on the client machines are going to be identical to all the tw uh, 19 computers from here on. And then the one for the master computer is a little bit different. So the first thing you need to do is click on iTalk. And then once you go into iTalk, you can read about it, see the features and everything. Um, and then you guys can click on download right here. So when you click on download, all right. So when you get to this link, you guys can click on continue and then click on the official build right here. Let me make it a little bit better. There you go. All right, so once you guys click that, go to the 2.0.2, and then if you have a 64-bit system, you can do the 64 on both computers. They have to be 64, 64, or you can do 32, 32. I haven't tested it on 64 and 32, uh, so it will be better to do it just the same way that I'm doing right now since we're testing it. So download this. I already downloaded it. You can download it anywhere you want to. I'm going to click on that, and then... Uh, and run this application. So I downloaded it into my download and this is where it is and it should look like this. So go ahead, double click on that and run this. You got to be administrator to do this. Okay, so now when you get to this window, click on next, agree, next, and then make sure you check the master because remember, this is the master computer right here. And this is, on this side, is our client computer. It says student laptop right there. So I'm going to click on install and let it install. It's pretty quick. And then finish. Okay, that's fine. We have this. But what I want you guys to make sure that you guys have this green little icon right here. This is the service. It represents the service. Or if you, if you um, open a console, uh, another one, the main console, you will see two in there. But the main service should be here all the time. Um, if you don't see it, restart your computer. If you still don't see it, rerun the application again, but uncheck the master one and just run the service again, and that will fix that issue. Now, on your computer, you might not see this. Um, when you go to... Don't change anything else. Just leave everything else that way. Go to authentication and then click on manage permissions. On your computer, you might not see this. So you need to add your name. So for example, I'm, I'm logged in as dheather. This is my administrator account. So I added dheather in here. So you go to add and then add dheather and click OK. And it will be right here. And make sure you give it allow access. And then click OK. OK. Once you do this, just close this. Let me tell you guys something about here. Now, this is a little bit talking here, okay? 
this is a work group environment. This is a home based network. So I got work group machine here, which is um, uh, D Heather is the admin here. So I need to have D Heather same password D Heather on this machine to be able to manage this machine. You cannot manage it with two different passwords. It won't work. If you have a domain uh, network, maybe with that one, if you add a domain administrator in that little box and domain administrator over here too, that might work. So that's in a domain. But most of the, remember, most of the labs in school environment are not domain based. They are work group basically. So it's, you have Windows 7, they can go up to like 20 computers and you can manage um, 20 co-current connections. Uh, I think Windows 8 have a little bit more. So. I mean, you will see a lot of work group uh, set up in a in a, a li in a labs environment. But if you have a little bit more than that, you can you can you can install it all that it worked on uh, on domain. I tested it, so it should be good with that too. So let's get back to this. Now, what we are gonna do is we're gonna do the same step on a client machine. What we are gonna do is basically we're gonna log into um, go to Google again and click on iTalk download and download the software from here uh, let's click on continue and then I'm going to click on this official build and then I'm going to click on 2.2.0 and then I need to get 32-bit installation and that is going to install now I'm going to save the file and then I'm going to run it. Same thing, you need to be administrator to do this. I'm going to minimize this so you guys can see it. Click next, agree next. So here's a here's a little check. You need to uncheck this because this is a client machine, so you just need a service on it. And this service cannot be deleted by uh, normal users. Uh, so that's why you can control it. I mean, like I said, this is mainly built for teachers to control students but you can also do it for a lot of different things um, okay so you get to the same box again and you guys click on this again click on the manage permissions and you can see I added D Heather on this machine see this machine is D jobs share D Heather is also a username and an administrator username and the same password on this machine a same username on this machine the same password and this is the only way why this is going to work if you have two different passwords for two different machines it's not going to work it's not going to connect you won't have permissions to it uh, that's the bad thing about work group environment okay so I'm going to cancel this I know that service is running so I'm going to check that on the bottom and you can see the little icon is running on this machine so I'm going to get back to my master machine now and double click on this and you see it prompts you for the um, pa the same password so so there you go this is the main uh, console I'm going to go ahead and add a classroom first right click on it add a computer and it will prompt you oh you need to add a classroom okay test class and here uh, you need to just put the I the computer name then so this is the computer name that I'm putting right here is this computer so let's go ahead and put that job skill share and I just added that and you just drop that and you see it's black just double click on that and let's just wait for there you go so now I can control this computer this is a student he's a bad student I want him to stop um going to games while I'm teaching right click and lock the computer I'll lock the display and bam it's locked like this computer this person can't do anything nothing is working here I don't think all control delete should be oh all control delete is working let's go to task manager oh, so when you do that it will kick you back in there so good things and bad things I guess you can really since I'm an administrator, I can do this, but I guess normal user won't be able to do this. They won't be able to um, control like that. But again, 
I use it for like different purposes. Not I'm not a teacher at school, so <laughs> I don't use it for that. But you guys, you guys can see it's working. Uh, you can take off the uh, lock by clicking or weave, and that will take it off. And look, it went back. And it takes a second on Windows 8 um, to go back to its uh, original. So other things you can do is remote control, which is best one right here. Because if you're a IT technical person, this is the one that I really would love. Because if you have, uh, let's say, 10 computers, a work group computers, you could manage all the computers from here. You don't even need to get into these computers by remote and typing it in. You can just put 10 computers in here. You're like a small business uh, IT guy and you just don't, you don't have ability to do domain and stuff like that you're gonna add all these computers and just do if somebody call you you log into the main screen hey what computer is it? okay it's computer number two let me just log in to do a remote control and I'll take over whatever you're doing right now I want to see what you're doing um, I want to help you out with IE uh, IE settings and stuff like that this is how you do it so you click on remote control and I have full control on that computer right now look you can see the mouse is there you go and to go back just quit on the top right there you could do a snapshot you can take a snapshot for your uh, like you know different type of uh, things um, you can do full screen and to click that other things you can send a message out you can log out the user somebody left a computer on and you want to log them off you could do that um, you can power on computer you can reboot the computers power down computers other thing is about the commands if you if you're good with commands you're trying to run some commands from like you know let's say you want to run an update uh, or maybe you want to do something on all the computers at one point at same time uh, you could do this from here and then click OK it will send the command out to every computer um, so just wanted to show you guys you know it works on Windows 8 I can show you guys. I mean I just showed it to you guys uh, there are a lot of benefits to it um, it, it's up to you guys however you guys want to use it um, I did use it in many many uh, different different type of uh, requests so it worked for me I hope it worked for you guys too and I hope this video helps you guys now since I made it you know just a real video not a virtual machine so it will make my some of the learners happy uh, so uh, let me know make sure you guys go this video will be actually uploaded on my um, job skill share course uh, when you guys go to the help desk specialist course you go log in and this will be in my tools section networking tools and I'll just put it right here um, so you guys can come back and check it out again uh, if you guys want to go back to the old computer old videos you guys can go to the free lab management software which is really old again you can see this 1.0.9 and then another one was uh, about um, open source deployment you know how how did I use this software to deploy like um, uh, Microsoft Office to 30 computers by using this kind of checking how things are going so you guys can check that out uh, let me know comment on this new video and let me know what you guys want in the future videos so I can make that for you guys thank you for watching Jobs Share see you guys soon